make the sound of your own voice if you don't want to be recorded, run out right now. <laughs> run out like our show, you aren't behind yet. <laughs> <laughs> and also, please listen to our podcast every Monday at biz.com slash show and jump. New episode up. We just talk about the issue, wacky jokes, our personal lives, our grievances. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. My name is Hugh Ryan Brown, the podcast commander and an editor at the Show and Jump. And these wonderful people are. Hey, I'm Eric Everhart. Uh, I'm just a guy who's a podcaster for fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm
really cool, and it's also really terrifying <laughs> because there's a whole lot of people that would have no problem attacking me if they don't like me. <laughs> so, they're really nice. What are you talking about? They're really nice as long as they like what you're doing. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to take you out on the playground and teach you how to be better. Like, don't, don't, don't really attack her though. She's short, but she's feisty. What? She's very she feisty. Bites. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of mimicking what they both said. Uh, we're all in Sailor Moon, and I remember being like, "Oh my gosh, Sailor Moon is such a legendary show!" And oh my gosh, and I'm like voicing my favorite character, Sailor Jupiter. And I was like, "Oh, okay, I gotta do her justice." And so afterwards, I'm like, "All right, I'll never have a more stressful uh, <laughs> role to undertake, where like it's a beloved character, you don't want to screw it up." And then uh, I booked this, and this is my first like title character, so on top of it being a legendary franchise, it's like, this is Naruto's son. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's, but it's, it's awesome. So far, everything's been pretty cool, and it's really cool to be a part of this show that people grew, literally grew up with. Like, it's the Harry Potter of the anime world, because it ran for like 15 or 12 years? 20, like 15 years, so people literally grew up with Naruto. He's like a friend to them, like their, their family, so it's kind of a, to be a part of that like legendary thing. Okay, and now we're gonna do something very special and very fun. We're gonna do a dramatic reading of the manga with the voice Woo! actor. The next manga they're going to so have. So that's, that's a little scary, I guess. Um, 
Okay. Yeah. You're always watching. All right, next question. So if you could possess jutsu, what kind of jutsu would you possess? And you can make your own Fifteen uh, percent more handsome jutsu. <laughs> I, I, I don't want a lot, just a little bit. <laughs> Not a disgusting amount, just like a real. Yeah, yeah, reasonable. We were discussing this earlier when we were doing interviews, and we were like, uh, "Grow thinner, you more attractive jutsu." Yeah. Yeah, what did you call it? The, <laughs> ho the Hollywood jutsu. Yeah. 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 Um, that would be awesome. Or like just uh, teleportation, like that I wouldn't have to travel, I wouldn't have to park a car. <laughs> You guys know you've been taking the shuttle. Right. Like you just go, oh, I'd like to go to this panel. I'm not waiting on the jack line. I'm just showing up in a seat in the back. I want to go substitution jutsu, but I would use it just to like get me out of awkward social situations. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, what do you do? I, I'm a voice actor. Do you know anything I've been in? Or what? Well, what have you been in? I would just go, and then I'd be in the next room. Like, oh. you got the law say see you for yeah, right. <laughs> I feel like this is probably in line with like the get thinner jutsu or whatever. But like, I wish I could just whatever I wanted, and my body would turn it into something healthy for me. <laughs> like, I'm gonna drink this whole bottle of wine and eat these like pixie sticks. And my body's like, hey, that's kale. <laughs> I feel like what people have learned about us on this panel is we are like really insecure. Yeah, we're like, that's what they're walking away from on this panel. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're lazy. <laughs> so our next question. So you guys play characters that are children. So, what were you like when you were roughly the ages of your characters? I mean, were you ninja? Be honest. They're still youngins. All right. So, my grandpa, we used to live on like a, like a big thousand acre like wooded area out in the middle of Missouri. And uh, my grandpa, when I was like seven, would literally take me out the tractor, drive like a couple hours on the tractor, and give me a lunch and like my bow and arrow and a machete and just say, see you by dinner, and <laughs> just leave me in the woods. And, uh, and that was like my job, was to find my way back to grandma and grandpa's house uh, before dinner time. And I don't know if that makes me a ninja or abused. <laughs> But, uh, but I did like learn some life skills from it. Dude, I was a totally like a country kid. That's I would, how you're surviving home. I would go like, yes, I would go, like bow fishing. Does anybody know what bow fishing is? Woo, yeah. 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 Okay, you go bow fishing. Wait, you and, like, shoot fish with a bow and arrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see them and feed them and they come up, they'll ooh, grab something yeah. and then you gotta shoot a little moving. Yeah, I'm basically a ninja. There must, yeah. be, a, there must be a better way to get fish. Uh, but not a more not a more enjoyable way. Uh, yeah, that's really fun. Yeah, that was sort of my childhood experience. I was a dirty little brown kid running around the woods. <laughs> 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 um, man, I was uh, I always grew up. I've been an actor since I was a kid. So um, I remember in school. I don't know if it was because I was just weird or socially awkward or just the kids are mean, but I got bullied. So I remember in like end of elementary school, middle school, I decided like I'm not gonna get bullied anymore, so I'm not gonna have any friends. I'm gonna, like, I was like, I'm just shields up, and I enjoyed school, I enjoyed learning, but I like hated like passing period was like my nightmare. And I remember I'd like play a soundtrack in my head. It's like I'm getting in my locker, I'm getting my book for my next class, and nobody talked to me. So I imagine myself as being like a very weird professional kid that like, you know, those people on Wall Street in New York that like plug in and they're like, I'm going to lunch, and by lunch I mean coffee. Like I was that at 10. <laughs> um, my goal is to be on a TV show and always be working and I'm gonna finish school and then I'm gonna have fans in the play. That was just like, a, I guess, a classic overachiever, but it was because I was scared of getting my feelings hurt. <laughs> so I don't think that makes me a ninja. I just think it makes me like avoidance of feelings. <laughs> You're like, you're like a feeling, you're like a feelings ninja. You're like a feeling. It's like you cry, you make the, the enemies really uncomfortable. Oh, are you okay? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah. No, maybe, yeah, maybe that. And in some an actor. Yeah. yeah. Um, in middle school, I, w I mean, I was always just like a weird little kid, but like. Because clearly, both of us were very normal. No, I, yeah, okay, but. 
like, that was, that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> um, but I, I, I played hockey, so I had like the reflex, I was a goalie, so I had like ninja reflexes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, and they've heard this story before, but in high school, I had this phase where I like told people I was a ninja. Like in like a, weird, like a weird jokey way, but kind of just like, yeah, you know, a ninja has to be blah, 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 blah. And I would always make up these weird ninja laws. <laughs> and then uh, the guy that I liked, because this is, this is why I'm so good at relationships. The guy, <laughs> the guy that I liked for like several years in high school, his name was Tim. And I just was like, I wanted, like, I, I wanted Tim to notice me. And I wanted to stand out. And so at one point, I like, I made a joke, because I also make a lot of threats when I like someone. <laughs> Likes me, so you're like, you go to the opposite extreme, and you're like, I'm gonna punch his throat, bro. <laughs> uh, and so I was like, Hey Tim, what do you want for Valentine's Day? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a flaming arrow to the heart. <laughs> and so I, <laughs> I just, I, uh, I, <laughs> just, well, oh, I just wait. He, <laughs> I, I dressed up in like a like a black like I don't know what it was. I think it was like I wore like a, a hoodie backwards, and then kind of like did all this stuff, so I had like the black ninja thing, and I was, it was in the snow, it was snowing outside, and like, I had my little sister take a photo of me, which in retrospect, I'm like, she could have died. <laughs> um, but I had like a fake bow and arrow, and I put a paper cut out heart on it, and I said, this is, it said, this is for you, Tim. And I, I put the arrow on, like, I put the heart on the arrow, and then I lit the heart on fire. <laughs> and then I like have the photo where I'm like doing this towards the camera. And you see Tim. Yeah. 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 Yeah.